Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing the test tube beauty tube box for November 2020. If you're unfamiliar with this subscription, it is brought out by New Beauty and it's a bi-monthly subscription. So it comes out every other month and this is the November slash December. The next one would be in January. So in the tube, you get eight or more sample full size travel size products every other month. Um, they do have products outside of the tube. It comes in a bigger box. So there's a couple things that didn't fit inside the tube. This is $29.95 a month plus shipping. Now shipping is is kind of expensive. So I think I paid $38.90 for this with shipping. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, sometimes shipping's only a few dollars. This one's, it's a little bit more. So it's about 30, almost 48 bucks for this subscription. I'll leave a link below if you're interested in signing up. This is a subscription that I pay for with my own money as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, or you just want to get to learn more about subscription boxes and beauty, go ahead and subscribe and let's get in the tube. So I will say the tube is really pretty this month. They do have it designed differently each month. So this is just kind of what this one looks like. Um, there are lots of different ways that you can use these after you've taken the products out as well. And then it always does come with a pamphlet that goes over everything inside and gives you some really good information. I will say that they have one of the better pamphlets that teaches you about the products. And it looks like this month's theme is sweater weather. I don't know if that's a theme. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph, but it says sweater weather on the top, so we're going with it. So I always like to start with the products outside of the tube first, and the first thing that I am pulling out is the Dr. Brand Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. So this is what it looks like here. If you are not new to subscription boxes, you've gotten subscription boxes a while, you've probably gotten this. Um, this is retails for $79, um, and it's a cult favorite exfoliator that gently removes dead skin from the surface of the face and neck to reveal a glow. I've never used an exfoliator on my neck. I guess you should. I mean, I know you need to moisturize your neck, but I've never thought about exfoliating my neck. I guess you probably just need to be careful because the skin on your neck is a little bit different from your face. Okay, well, now my world has just been blown. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like here. I have gotten this before. There's the blue one I've gotten as well. I don't know if I gave away the black one or if I actually use it myself. So you just dampen your skin with warm water and then gently massage it onto your skin for one to two minutes, rinse well, and voila. Okay, so this has alpha hydroxy acid and last lactic acid for the perfect gentle exfoliant. It also has aloe vera and chamomile to top off the formula. Um, obviously, if you have super sensitive skin, this prob you probably don't want to use a ton of these type of exfoliating products, but I will try to use it. I am really bad. I should exfoliate my skin more. I kind of don't. <laughs> I just forget to. It's just an extra step. I've been like so, I've told you if you've been watching my videos, I've been super lazy with skincare recently. And right now my skin is like hating me for it, but whatever. I will definitely get some, try to get some use out of this. Remind me to use this, please. All right. The next thing here is like really long, longer than my head. I didn't, I saw the spoilers and I was not thinking it would be this big. So this is the Avene Thermal Spring Water Spray. I guess it can be used on sensitive skin. It is cling wrapped. Um, this retails for $18.50, so it's a mist that can, can be used post-cleanse, post-laser, post-sunburn, or post-shave for a refreshing burst of hydration. Um, you don't need to shake it, you just spray it onto the skin and leave on for two to three minutes before gently patting dry. So I guess this is the spring water has been used for centuries to soothe and calm irritated skin. Um, it's rich in postbiotic microflora and some other stuff that I can't pronounce. I will say this, I've seen this and it sounds like nice for the summer, but I also feel like, is this necessary? Like, is this actually necessary? Like, what is this going to actually do for my skin? Or is it, is it just like a nice bougie thing to have? I'm not sure that this is super necessary, but if you've used this before, definitely know, let me know your thoughts on it. Like, do you like it? Especially I have oily skin. Um, it'd probably be great if you have um, more like normal to dry skin. I don't really know because it's, it has a moisture, but I don't see anything that ha that's like moisture locking, if that makes sense, that um, ho will hold the moisture. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm kind of like, it sounds nice, but is it just an extra step you don't need? You know? I don't know. All right, let us open the tube up and there is like stuff popping out. So the first thing that was like sticking all the way out is by 
collab, and this is their original dry shampoo. This retails for $5.49. So it leaves hair soft and smooth, beautifully fragranced. This dry shampoo instantly refreshes your roots. I can't really smell it. It just smells like aerosol canister, if that makes sense. Um, I know I've gotten this before in a sample size, but I don't think I've used this before, this brand. I do like dry shampoo. Um, when I was going into the office, I was using dry shampoo a lot more. I do shampoo my hair every other day, but since I've just been at home, I've been too lazy to put on dry shampoo. That's pretty bad, right? Um, but I am always happy to get a dry shampoo because I don't, I, the, dry shampoo is one of those things I just don't like to actually spend money on. So it's nice when it comes in a box. I mean, I know I spent money on the box, but I don't know. So I don't know. That's cute. It's a good addition. I do like that. Oh, and you can get this at Target. I mean, I, I will say $5.49 is not a bad price and you can get it at Target. I'm there like all the time, so that's great. Okay, the next thing out is by Dr. Dennis Gross, and this is the Hyaluronic Marine Melt Away Cleanser. Okay, so let's read more about this. This retails for $13 at Sephora. It's a deeply hydrating yet refreshingly lightweight cleanser that removes all visible signs of dirt, debris, and makeup as it nourishes the skin's microbiome. So with dry hands, you put on the cleanser to skin um, until the product buildup begins to dissolve and then you remove with a damp or dry cotton round. Oh, that's different. You don't do it with water? Huh, okay. So I don't know, if, I don't think that this is full size. This is two fluid ounces. I mean, it's still a good size and $13 would make me think it's not a full size, but maybe it is. That's weird that you don't use water. Oh, rinse or remove gently with a cloth, cotton round, or tissue. Okay, that makes sense. And I was like, why do you not rinse off your face? Okay, interesting. This sounds different than what I'm used to. I do wonder if this is gonna be thicker. It has a seal on it. I don't want to open it quite yet. So it says that this has marine algae that enhances skin elasticity while reinforcing skin barrier function and hyaluronic acid boosts moisture retention for more hydrated skin. So interesting. Cool. I'm, that's a different kind of, this will be, a, this is a good cleanser for the winter because even like somebody like me who has oily skin ne needs to retain the moisture in the winter. So interesting. It does say scan code to learn how to use. So let me see what that does. Okay, so that opens up a YouTube video by Dr. Dennis Gross on how to use it. Apparently this is was new two months ago, so it's nice that we're getting a, like a newish product um, in this box. So I'm excited to try that out. I'm not gonna watch the video right now, but I will before I use it. It sounds like this is a little bit different of just like, not just, you don't just like wash your face the regular way with this. I don't know. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this here, and this is by VV Naturals, and this is their Vita Hand and Hand Sanitizer Spray. This retails for $10. So it's a hand sanitizer that dramatically reduces the amount of bacteria on the skin without stripping of essential oils. So I guess there's peppermint and aloe vera formulated into this. Okay, 62% ethyl alcohol. Um, I, they don't list the percent of alcohol on here. I think that's important right now with the virus and everything to know. Um, I will, I'm curious to spray it on my hands. My hands are a little, not, they're not dry right now, but they feel a little dry. I'm curious to see if this is moisturizing or if it's just like a hand sanitizer. You know how some um, now have a lot of moisturizing benefits. So let's just see. Oh, you can smell the peppermint. I don't know if I like it though. It has a very like natural kind of smell to it like a very natural smell. And so if that's not your thing, if you like more fragrancy fragrances, you know, um, but it's not bad. And it didn't make my hands feel like dry, dry, which is also really nice. So the next thing that I am pulling out is from Floetic. And this is a liquid lipstick. I'm trying to see, it's like kind of shimmery there. This retails for $26. And this is Find Your Edge. I don't know if that's the shade or if that's just the kind of liquid lipstick. Uh, no, this is in UA Red. So this is one of those like weird, this is a weird applicator. So it has like this fuzzy part. That's what it looks like. It's gonna come out of the thing and you're gonna, it's one of these clicky ones. Aha, uh -huh. it took me like 20 <laughs> times to do it, but there is the product coming out. That was a lot of clicking to get it to that point. Oh, that's a pretty color. It has a sweet fruity scent and that is what it looks like there. So I guess the applicator is supposed to, ooh, and it's still coming out. This feels a lot more like a creamy lipstick than, I don't think that's gonna dry down matte. Feels more like a gloss, honestly. So it has jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E that are the ultimate hydrators. Um, there are also the three main ingredients in this liquid lipstick. It does continue to have product come out after, which I don't love, like it, it's like leaking out. Um, but anyway, it has the applicator that's supposed to help you do like the smart tip precision. 
I'm sure it's fine and I'll probably try it on my lips later. Obviously I won't right now. It's a very pretty color. It's more subtle and natural. I don't gravitate towards these clicky lipsticks for whatever reason. I just feel like those applicators probably get gross because of the fluff or whatever's on them. But it's still a really pretty cutter, cut, cut, color and it smells really fruity and nice. And I will also say it's very pink. This is more of a spring color for me. I don't think I'd really wear this in like the fall slash winter. The next thing that I am pulling out is by Dr. Zenovia. Doesn't that, that sounds... Um, like Princess Diaries. Was it Genovia where she's from? Zenovia? I mean, oh, now I want to watch Princess Diaries. Who likes that movie too? That reminds me of like, not childhood, I was a little bit older, but you know what I mean. So this is their Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Serum, which retails for $34. This is 0.5 fluid ounces. Usually serums are usually full ounce, so I'm not sure that this is full size. My guess would be that maybe this is half of a full size, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? So I guess this is an ultra light moisturizing formula that makes skin look and feel supple, dewy, and well nourished. Dewy always makes me nervous with my skin. Um, it's made with a reg you regulate 360 complex, which features medical grade actives, including resveratrol, vitamin E, green tea, and phytogesterone, known as genistein. These powerhouse ingredients restore the appearance of hormonally imbalanced skin to the healthiest state. Interesting. I feel like this is geared for a very specific thing because this is this is hormonal dermatology, and you know you have to have. I'm sure this could benefit people, but this feels like if you have hormonal acne, this would be great. But I wonder how many people subscribe to this box have hormonal acne. Um, if you, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is a very specific product. I mean, I, it's still cool, but it feels very specific. And it also reminds me of Genovia from Princess Diaries. <laughs> All right, the next thing, it comes in a little pouch and this is by Eight Saints. And this is their Cloud Whip C Cream Vitamin C, MSM and Antioxidants. This retails for $28. I'm again thinking this is probably not the full size, especially because it came in that little bag. Um, so what is this? It's a jam-packed vitamin C and antioxidants. This do-it-all moisturizer works to knock out signs of dryness, dullness, and even acne. Um, okay, so I wonder how thick it is. If it's sealed, I'm not gonna, yeah, it's sealed. I'm not gonna use it right now. Um, it does sound like it might be a little bit heavier, but then it works for acne, so I'm not really sure. Um, my skin is feeling dry right now just because of the, the weather keeps changing from hot to cold, hot to cold, hot to cold where I live. And so it's just my skin is freaking out because it doesn't know what to do. Um, so maybe I'll give this a try. I like the name of that. Like Cloud Whip sounds fun, you know? And then last but not least, we have a Sunday Riley product. It did also come with like a little piece of paper. This is their Saturn Sulfur Spot Treatment Mask. So it's a medicated mask that dries and clears up acne while preventing new blemishes from forming. This retails for $20. So I guess sulfur is praised for its sebum removing properties and this treatment is formulated with 10% of it. Plus it includes 4% niacinamide as the ultimate radiance booster as well as benton <laughs> bentonite to help draw out impurities. Wow, I think I was just holding that like all the way up to the sky. So I'm sorry about that. This is interesting. I don't get like a ton of acne, um, but when I do, I will definitely try this out. Um, the green line from Sunday Riley is supposed to be meant more for people with acne and oily skin. So I will definitely give it a go. I did also get a gift card in here from Beauty Care Choices. It's a $10 gift card. I'm not gonna give the code in case I wanna use it because it looks like it's a specific code. I wonder how much pro products cost there though because like $10 off of your order. It doesn't say you have to spend a certain amount to redeem it, but if everything's like 50 bucks or more, then it's just a discount, it's not really a gift card, if that makes sense. But that's an interesting thing. I've never tried beauty care choices before, um, but I'll have to go check them out. So that is everything that I got in the test tube beauty box for November, November slash December. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of this box? Personally, this wasn't my favorite test tube beauty. There's some products in here I'm excited about, like I'm excited about the Sunday Riley. I think this cleanser is cool. I don't know. I, I'm just not blown away. There's not like a product. There's not like a product that I'm like really excited about, if that makes sense. Like usually there's one product where I'm like, that's so cool. And I don't necessarily feel that way about this box. feels a little bit random too, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Definitely want to hear them and I will see you in my next video.